contributions to get us here. We are poised for a great next chapter. Thanks to the leadership of the amazing women board chairs. <laughs> Connie, Cretan, Wanda, Julie. You women have rocked my world for 20 years. Stepping Stone has also made an important promise to build a pathway to college, career, and personal success for the educationally underserved children of Philadelphia. Stepping Stone's leaders, staff, and teachers work tirelessly every single day to fulfill that promise. Good evening. My name is Erin Corbett Wright, and I am a Stepping Stone Scholar, class of 2003. Um, I am a proud alumna of Agnes Irwin, Temple University. Hold on, we're not done. The University of Pennsylvania. One more, I promise, I'm almost done. My Philly school roll call and the LaSalle University. <laughs> I am pleased to say that I am Vice President Charitable Foundation Program Manager at TD Bank. And probably most important is that in January, I will become the first alum of Stepping Stone Scholars to be on the Board of Directors. <laughs> people had talked to me about the position but I hadn't really absorbed it and they put the CD in and we watched the CD and my kids I'll never forget this they were standing behind me and they were like mommy you have to do this I, I mean and I it was different for me I didn't really understand and I met with Connie and then I met Eddie and once I met Eddie the rest really was history because I was like I gotta I gotta understand this and know this guy and and be part of this. So I just want you to know that as much as maybe I helped you in some way, you really helped me way more. I, like Tim, am a part of the very first class of Stepping Stone Scholars. For the last decade, I've worked, a long time, I work at Stepping Stone. My current role is Associate Director of Placement and Admissions for the academy program. It is hard to comprehend that I met Tim 20 years ago when we were children. I'm honored to have the opportunity to recognize him for the man, husband, mentor, and master educator he has become. Stepping Stone has had a pro profound impact on me and my siblings. We're all examples of the power of having a community, a good education, and a path. While teachers enjoy having their summers off to travel, relax at home, I met Stepping Stone. It is one of my greatest joys and pleasures during the summer, and I've come back to teach, like Sania said, every summer since 2007, because I believe in the power that teachers and education can have on the direction of students' lives. I and so many scholars are living proof of it. Thank you so very much for this honor. I'm humbled and appreciative. Thank you. Now, the Founder Stone is literally the highest honor that Stepping Stone can bestow on anybody. Um, and it's reserved for those who exemplify the values of Stepping Stone um, and who have given their life in a way in accordance with Stepping Stone's mission to um, improve equity and improve excellence in edu education. And so it is absolutely incredibly fitting that this award is going to go tonight to Eddie Mensa. Eddie, you were director of programs here for 11 years. You shape so much of the program and identity of how Stepping Stone supports our scholars and cares for our students. These students, known as Eddie's favorite people, there they are. Mr. Mensa changed their lives. So we are very proud to present to Eddie the Founders Stone Award. Congratulations, Eddie. We have to remember that the work of Stepping Stone is necessary because there are systems of inequity, injustice, and racism uh, that exist in our work. Thank you. 
the myth of meritocracy still persists, making this work necessary. So in as much as we do the work today to create lights, is what I call my babies, lights in this space, these difference makers, we can and we must do the work to dismantle the systems, to level the playing field, so that every child who is willing to work hard can succeed. I work for the parents and the families, right? Fahim and Duchess's father, Mr. Cooper, he had a dream about what he was gonna to try to do for his kids. He found a program, he turned that dream into hope, and now he's trying to turn it into truth. I am not afraid because I work for the kids who have taught me that freedom and equality are not worth fighting for or dying for. They are worth living for. All of this, all of this, the celebration, our scholars, they are living a life, kids trying to teach us how to live a better way, to find a better path. That is what you own. Win or lose, fall down or get up, scholars. You own the path that you have made. And our dream, our hope, our truth is to be a pipeline from kindergarten all the way through the workforce. It is not fair that you have to push this plow, but it is what has to be done. It's what has to be done. So I'm going to ask you to hold on. Let's clap for our family.